Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we'll be showing you how to make this kind of application it's working on Android and it works with your camera to make a projection of your static mesh like this. Uh, we can see the static mesh has been placed in my table and it's only visible on my mobile screen and it's not, it's not an actual 3D object to such as actually. This is called augmented reality. In augmented reality, we can see many things through our camera, which is actually uh, more like we, uh, you can see this in the Iron Man movies, like uh, he's calculating this and that on its screen, on his screen with the help of the camera. We are going to do that now, guys. Okay. So, so we'll be developing this inside our Unreal Engine. Actually, we have already done some uh, tutorial videos about Unreal Engine. You can also find that in my Unreal Engine playlist. I'll give the link to the descriptions. If you don't know about Unreal Engine, you can go through the playlist and you can find some uh, interesting topic how you can work on this project, etc. Okay, let's uh, go first. Okay, let's go and download our Android Studio first. Actually, you need Android Studio installed in your PC to work on this. Uh, this is the official link. Download Android Hedgehog Studio and you go on a click I have and download this one. I have already downloaded and installed. It's just simple installation. Uh, next, next, next and install. That's it, guys. Actually, uh, this tutorial I'm teaching you is actually documented in the Unreal Engine. So I'm dictating you as per our rules but you can also go through this uh, web page and you can also do it accordingly at the first time you'll be prompted like this and click on do not import settings and then down here you can also send statistics or you can also click on the don't send and then you'll be prompted like this one this dialog box and you should click on next and like this you will be clicking on the custom installation and then select your uh, SDK and NDK versions and click on the finish I uh, don't change this uh, location guys actually don't change this uh, location it should be uh, on its default and then once you are installed uh, now uh, we'll go to our Unreal Engine and also don't forget to go to marketplace and claim all the free of the month uh, free for the month uh, assets let's go to our library and launch our unreal engine you can uh, you can uh, work with 5.0 and above 5.3.2 for this one and yep here we go and let's create a new project game go to games and handheld ar and uh, give a project name let's say let's say cartis ar tutorial let's create this one and it will take some time to create your project after that, after that one will be prompted like this one, and you can see Android setting up SDK and NDK for real Android setting up the automatic stuff. So now uh, go to your edit page and click on the project settings, and then you'll find your project settings here. Go down and go to Android, and then here it says project is not configured for Android platform. Click on configure now. And then in here, in your handwrite package name, you can give any name you want. Uh, your company dot your project. Let's say car. I did this. Publish dot tutorial project. And then down here, you can see uh, package game data dot apk. And let's check this box. And then scroll down. You will see another box here. Google Play Services configure now. And uh, yep, that's it. You can also change your background vertical image, etc. Launch portrait. You can change this if you want. You can click on this and select your icon according to the image resolutions. It will automatically feed into the loading screens and etc. And then uh, go down and uh, see that Android SDK here. And you can see it's already filled by my engine, but in your case, this will be will be like this empty. I'll tell you how to uh, how to load this one. Okay. So coming back to our web page, we can see setting up Android NDK. Navigate via Android Engine 4 directory. As you can see, see Epic Games, and this is the file path where your engine is installed. So let's say. You can see my engine is installed in the C program files epic and 5.2 actually it's 5.3 I'm working right now but it's uh, only version 5.2 is there okay no problem go to engine and go to extras and you can see the android folder here android and you can see three um, files you can see this one is the windows file and this one um, for uh, mac I think so and this one for linux as you navigate uh, to this window it says to run this setup android dot bat if you click on this open and you can see a command uh, window terminal is opened and you can see the success but 
uh, most people will get error in this one as i also faced many errors with this one so i'll tell you how to figure it out in the new video i'll be giving the link in the description okay so don't forget to check the video okay let's close this now uh, here it says you'll be prompted like this and accept you should pr press y on your keyboard and click on the enter and it will be automatically downloaded to your device and then you need to um, restart your computer to take all the effects to change right and then that's it now this one i manually targeting sdk parts so for this one uh, as you can see this uh, empty go to your open your file manager go, okay go to app data you can't find app data uh, click on this putty uh, small expand the ribbon button and uh, uh, go to view and select the hidden files if you uncheck this box you can't see the app data so if you check this box and close this up then go to app data local and you can see android and go to sdk and this is the SDK path for your project guys. Click, click on this and control C and go to your Unreal. Go to your Unreal engine and paste this inside your empty space with control V. And for the NDK, I'll show you. Just uh, inside this SDK, go, go inside the NDK and open this folder. And now click on this copy and paste this right here. For the JDK, you need to install Java JDK for this one. Actually, uh, this Android uh, AR uses the Java JDK 16 version 16. Actually, now it's 27, I think so. Uh, let's go to our Java downloads. Actually, uh, yeah, it says Java 21 is the latest release, but we need Java 16 to work with this. You can also try Java JDK 21, but. Uh, but maybe throw some error so i used java jdk 16 java jdk 16 download and you can see java se 16 and then uh, click on here where it says in windows yep here windows 64 installer download this and install it accordingly and then and then uh, don't forget to give the environment variables or go to environment variables and uh, configure this accordingly there's many more videos on the youtube to do this i don't want to cover this now actually after downloading it will be inside your program files uh, java and you can see java 21 and 16 i, I have downloaded 21 too and checked it with that but i'm not uh, but it doesn't work so 16 open 16 and this is the uh, uh, folder so copy and paste it right here okay and that's it guys you need to give this three uh, folder names and then uh, down below you will see the windows icon uh, tab right here and inside this we need to uh, give the target rhi to default and the compiler version to 2019 um, okay so it says restart to apply new features click on the restart after restarting you will see this project file is out of update just click on update and it will be automatically updated okay now that's it to explore uh, this content folder we'll see this in another video guys so first let's go to our platforms you can see android right here click on uh, package uh, projects and then click on your project file which is actually part of tutorial you can also go back and uh, click on uh, part of tutorial select folder and you can see packaging project for android uh, click on the show output log and you can see uh, windows is packaging our project you can also see if the error any other error occurs right here in the command prompt or this is called uh, output log. okay a few minutes later uh, okay now you can see packaging complete actually you can face some errors in this command terminal so there's a uh, quick two remedies to avoid this error okay so before uh, compiling your project go to your windows task manager right uh, actually this is not task manager it's hidden uh, background apps click on your if you have active antivirus click, right click on it and uh, disable your antivirus and then try again and another method is to go to your edit and go to plugins you can see arc ARK kit yeah it says apple uh, ar kit sometimes apple ar kit will throw you a error so you can also disable apple ar kit and uh, re uh, compile your project Recompiling means so you can go to this and click on the package project that's it and you can find your project inside your 
inside our Unreal projects, go to the Cartesia tutorial. This is what our actual project name. And go to binaries, go to Android, and you can see the APK file right here. Cartesia tutorial ARM64.apk. Uh, actually, you, you should copy this file and paste it inside your Android device and install it in your android device and then you can open the project yeah like this one you can see it says begin scan and it takes some time to scan my environment i can you should place this somewhere which is uh, like a, a normal plane or something else after scanning it says tap on a plane to deploy any objects and uh, yep as you can see i tapped here it spawns a uh, default um mesh you can see yeah this one looks good you can see the shadows under the legs it looks so natural yep there we go in our further videos we'll learn how to do this uh, kind of uh, dancing emote or something else in placing many items in inside our a or placeable bps and yep I'll meet you in another video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye bye.